Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Uh, we already complete the authentication part of Laravel. So let's go through the flow. First, I'm going to explain the user and admin. We have a uh, two roles. Okay, so user and admin. Okay, first the flow is working here. Routes web.php. So when you access the URL slash login, it goes to the particular page. So how the URL works? So here. You first understand user authentication, these are the public. Everyone can access this one. User login. Okay, it's a public. Okay. You can register the user and check all the stuff. Okay. Right. The admin also we have gave this permission for login also. Uh, admin uh, login also we have public. The registration, admin registration, we are normally set as a private. Okay, so we have this is the small project, that's why I have put it as a public because the uh, no one can register as an admin, admin user the existing admin admin user uh, if you are nominated as a new admin user so what you are going to do is the existing admin can add that particular user to the system and uh, the system they are given some password other uh, in the future they the admin after give the username and password to the admin user they will be able to change it but here we have to leave it as a public okay for the simple system so that, that is little bit complicated if you have put it like this okay so right so what you're going to do is here you can see here you can see the login registration so this, this which are which, which has a private one uh, public one so when the user, user url is coming slash login is goes to the login controller login controller index action method so here login control index action method means it is a go to login controller and index action method it return to the view which is a okay the, which is a return the view first we have to implement this one or because this is the authentication user we have to implement this okay this inside this name case we have to add this name space okay this is must as ash because this is the ash password after that this user is where the user model is there user model is inside the inside the model folder there as a user because here this is the database schema or the validation part is go and check it out here the validation schema okay so that's how we work right so here user login that's a local user login right it returned to the view which is a user folder this is the folder name this is the page name which is a login so here this is the template extend login temp me this is the template here we have a inside the view folder inside the view folder we have created the two templates one is a like layout template another one is a login temp template you have, to, you have to extend this here template you have to tell the name of login temp the content this is a simple login form content I have given this is the name of the login form template this is style I have gave simple style I have gave right the simple style the body body color I have given styles style 1 style 2 I have gave the style 1 style 2 this is all things I gave so here the simple login form it has a username and password we have one sign in button when you click uh, when you enter the username and password click sign button it goes to the so here simple login button okay login form i already explained so the it's a login okay it's a simple content so here this uh, layout login layout temp you can see here we have inside that tag we have to implement the bootstrap heal content heal content which is a heal content this is a login form this is a heal content this is yield content. This content, what is the things are there? These all the things are it's coming here. This yield content. It's a body. It's a blank template. Inside the template, we have here this one. This is a content. We have a it consists of the small login form. You can see the login form. Small login form. Okay. This is all the source code. We have I have put it into my this authentication part. I already uh, tell that we have put into my Tutors Funny website, you will be able to use it. Tutors Funny website here, you will be able to go and here watch it. You can get them. 
form function you can use that all the coding should be there right so you nothing worry about that this is the coding okay so first we have to return to this login page if you enter the username and password click sign in button it goes to where where it goes to the route check the route check mean it's coming to here route folder where is the check check method where is the check method where the user this is a user there's a check here this is a check what i did is check telling the check telling if the request is coming like this check go to the user login controller section uh, check action method okay that's a user login controller six uh, check action method check action method okay user login controller check action method so we have check action method is action method user login controller it goes to check action method get the request as a username and password right username and password mean this one understand the flow correctly that is must when you become programming how to go to the data go data by this name attribute the name attribute name or the name type password type when you click sign in button it goes to this here this route where we have go to the data to the, this controller where this login controller take the data login email and password here check it okay so here you have to put required you can't you can't add the data without required uh, blank so it's the email and password two are required you have to put the required get the email okay then password the password get the password and check the password first auth first you have to check the password okay so first auth atom array uh, merge you have to check the credential here the username and password what is the username and password coming here it's coming the user here username and password is coming here it will be check the credential over here it's a credential it's checking the auth you have to put the auth and check it okay check check it you have to put the auth it will be checking right if you put the auth it will be checking right this auth okay so checking the user it automatically take this user okay Auth. You have put the auth. Okay, it will be check whether it's correct or not. After that, if the user email and password is correct, and other hand, it will be check whether the the user is the user role is user. Okay, we have to check two things, and we have user two two things. First, we have to check the username and password. Username and password check. We need to check. Uh, we need to check, and and we have to check the user role as well. We have to check both. User credential plus user role. Both we need to be true. Then only it will be written to the user dashboard. That is the security part. This auth, this is a default from default auth of the Laravel. Okay, so if it is assigned the default user role, it automatically take this user. It get the user. That's why we have we don't need to create the another things. Okay, we have already the auth is there in the Laravel predefined. Okay, so it will be written to the user dashboard. If the username and user had a credential not correct, it's sending the error, redirect to the error, user credential incorrect. So this error will be passing to which page? This login page. Here this error is here. Above it, the error should be passing. Right? So it will be you have to check it. Right? This is code is there. You, have, you must go and watch it. This is the uh, flow you must learn. Simple flow. Right? Okay. Okay, that's the thing here, right? After that. What you are going to do is yeah first first what you are going to do is first you have to we already have a get back login button Just login successfully user login here user login successfully yeah, login successfully if you click log out button what happen is it, it will be log out log out the system so here when the if the login successfully it goes redirect re re to which page user controller dashboard the user dashboard mean it will be redirect to where user dashboard this user this is a dashboard it's automatically coming here right user dashboard okay understand that user dashboard so where's the route okay user dash you are right like this it will dot it here you write the user dashboard it's called a user dashboard it's called to user dashboard it's coming here user control where if you are here you are telling that to directly controller here you can see here tell that 
I want to go to the controller to so login successfully. User redirect me. He redirect to the controller which is user redirect me. It goes to here. Route which we ask goes to route. Route will be telling that it goes to user controller dash action method. So, sorry, user user dashboard means it goes to user dashboard controller dash action method so user dashboard controller where is the user the dashboard controller which is a da user dashboard controller this is the dash action method it will be written to the view dashboard view the dashboard view you have to go to the folder inside the user folder here dashboard view. you will be able to see the dashboard right inside the dashboard view when the user is logging and you are logging logging okay you log in a user it automatically says the battery is logged in a user here or user the username you are trying to or keyword user username what the username is coming it will be it will be passing here right. after that we have a logout button as well we have one logout button right it's a logout button as well okay so when after logging the user it will be shown as here if you log out i need to log out the system and redirect to the login page so how to do the task when you click logout button okay here i already click you you, you already saw if, if I click the logout button, it redirects to the login page. So how, how the task is done? When you click logout button, it goes to route user user logout. This is a route, okay? Which is a post method. So what I am going to do is user logout. So what I did here, uh, user logout. We yes, asked user logout. Here, this one. You have to put as an authentication here. Sorry, here you have to put the authentication here. Okay, user logout. Okay, auth. So here auth means here, right? So here what is goes to here logout. User logout. It's called the user log login page logout action method. Login page. Logout action method mean we have a diff the uh, we have a keyword called auth. You simply you have to call this one logout. It will be logout the system and you have to invalidate the session and invalidate the so uh, uh, token all the things are invalidated everything return back to your login page you are redirect to the login page if you are coming here redirect to the login page. slash login me it's at the, again it will be redirected to here check it where the login so login it redirect to the login page that's how the system it really works first you understand the flow of the system works okay okay right so i want to talk about the very important stuff which is a middleware which is a middleware this very important stuff we have middleware why we are implement the middleware for the security purpose the programming programmers are implemented the middleware okay if without the middleware everyone can access the system okay that is very which is the security. the system is not secure everyone can log in the system enter the uh, by enter the uh, everyone can register the system and access the system and the, the system might be co corrupted okay so we are implement the middleware for protect the system so here what i did here is you have to write the middleware okay middleware auth this will automatically so auth auth mean auth purpose we already i know i, I have uh, uh, explained how to, in, uh, how to install the middleware okay we already discussed about that right okay so here if you are not taught here, create a middleware, admin middleware and, and use a middleware you already installed. Okay, so middleware we have a created here. The so matter I did is here, when you, what I implemented here, only the, we have put in the middleware, only these two functions, dashboard and logout. Okay, the dashboard here, without login, we can't go to the dashboard here. Without the user login, we can't go to the dashboard. If you are not put the security, if someone know the user dashboard, everyone can go to the dashboard. Now here, it's gone. It, it cannot go. If you are, if you are go, it is coming to the login here. If you access, it's coming to login. Here. It's coming to login. You cannot access the system. Because we have protected for the system protected purpose, we are calling that we have to implement the middleware. So what I did here is, we have middleware, what I did here is slash middleware. Okay, so in between the route and this route will be communicate with the controller in between the route and controller 
we have implement the middleware which is the security purpose user middleware here it's coming to the the middleware if, 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 if the user is logged into the user dashboard it's coming to check here as well or check me here also check the here or check here also check the function here this function we have put it to here as well here this one this check function okay here this check set, uh, check function you have to put here as well okay you check and here you can here here you can see here the the user username and password correct and it will be correct the user role as well it's both correct it will be the request will be caused to where the dashboard here it's calling here. if it is not correct it will be redirect to the login page right so it's both should be it will be checking after that it will be go to here here it will check there it will be checking of course okay then here it will be check it here that's the thing it will be done the middleware part okay right that's the thing you have to do with the middleware that's why we have to implement the middleware okay so we have a after that middleware we have a, another one is a middleware we have a logout button as well. the, when the user log into the system we will show, see the dashboard okay after see the dashboard there is a button called logout then only if, if, without login we can't access the logout button okay so that we have put it there we have called the logout also inside the middleware we have to protect the uh, protect the work here is a clear cookies we already installed the uh, clear cookies all things right so this is the use of authentication the same thing we have to do the admin authentication the things okay i now need to explain again by again for the admin the same thing what i did only the thing is the user login we just type slash login in admin we have the, the url is coming here slash admin login here it's coming out here admin slash login that is the only thing different okay okay so there are same process in this blog explain everything you have to go and learn on learn on it you have to do the system well okay after done the system i'll give you the source code okay so yeah the system is keep on going first you have to understand the stuff how the system works if you understand only you will be able to do the system without any barrier thank you for watching